everybody. Welcome. Welcome back to another game fans stream. I I'm already tired. Hell yeah. <laughs> Playing more Dark Souls 2. New yeah. game plus. Maximus Bunkicus. Yep. -er. Did you want me to use this? No. You could, but I, I didn't in particular. Um, it, it might be better for certain areas to use that because it's vertical. Mm. You were bunking into walls quite a bit. But if you want to do wide sweeps, then, you know, big sword is best sword. So. I suppose so. Yeah. On Rumble, it looks like it's still just like a picture of my profile picture. Maybe if I refresh it. Well, some streaming platform can just feel a little bit janky when it comes to thumbnails. I mean, YouTube itself is janky when it comes to thumbnails. No, I mean, like, it's, um, it's not working. Yes. YouTube also does not work sometimes. Okay. Right. I, I don't mean, like, anything to do with the, the thumbnail. Oh, here, it's working now. I had to, like, hit back. I tried refreshing, and that didn't work, but I, uh, like, went to the channel page and clicked on the video again. And now it is just up. Up so fast. Eesh. Main reason why this run back is one of the worst. There's just way too many enemies. Yeah, I always did a different oh. run. Very stylish. Yeah. If you go the da right downstairs, I just don't really. It's more Care. it's more metal to just like walk through all of the enemies. But uh I always yeah, I always went down there and then climbed up. Yeah. I mean so long as I have a big sword and they all clump together it usually works out. But you know. So my brother and his girlfriend had this plan uh, when they moved in together that they were only going to have one plate each, and that way it would force them to clean their plates, because otherwise they would just, or rather they asserted that this was a truth of all people, that they would just not clean plates if they had other plates they could use. Mm -hmm. Are we doing it? Are we doing it? Oh! oh. Boy. Can you get them both at the same time? I guess it's not that valuable to get to hit two at once when you're doing um, like melee with spells. It's like you only have a certain number of spells. You can swing as much as you want, basically. Although in Dark Souls 2 they kind of turned weapons into consumables Whoa, because they degrade. The shield. Oh yeah, I remember the, the oh, shield man, throw. Oh come on, I dodged. I dodged. No, no one cares that I dodged. Why are they both on me? You poised right through that shield. <laughs> eh. 
it fucking sucks, man. They, like, literally switched at, like, the perfect time, like, who they were aggroed with. Teamwork. Yeah. So if you, if you are on Rumble, uh, and, uh, let me know if the video is fixed, because last time it was all fucked up, but I think I fixed it. Maybe. It was, like, every five seconds it was, like, skipping. And I'm, I'm watching it, and it's not, to my eyes, skipping. At least it's not, not as bad as it was previously. No, it's still skipping. If it's skipping, it's imperceptible to me. So, if it is beneath my notice, <laughs> please inform me with great alarm. Uh, but if you do, I probably don't know how to fix it, so. You know. So, in my, um... Oh, yeah, anyway, the... So this concept of only having one plate, I said that sounded very stupid. And they were like, no, that's... Otherwise, you would never clean plates. And I was like, I don't, I don't think so. I think... I think I could very easily see myself, like... Oh, we're running out of plates, I should start cleaning plates. But I think having only one plate just means that you're going to eventually eat on a dirty plate. However, yes. I think that's not a bad concept. Oh, come on. For, um, for like a pot. You know? Like, I was thinking, we should, like, when we get our own uh, castle in the mountains, um, get, like, a good pot. I mean, all pots will eventually get bad. Well, no, but, like, get a pot that, like, get the ideal pot. The, the apotheosis of pot. What are you shooting pot. at? Stupid bitch. God damn. <laughs> Because I was just thinking, like, the pot we have is, is fine, right? But that's the... I still get, like, a synapse, like, light up when I see that attack. Because it's the perfect attack. You just walk sideways and it misses you. But the horizontals, they still make me angry. <laughs> oh, plunging attack! Damn, that was terrible. Well, it was all part of your plan. You see, it baited them into making an attack that missed. Yeah. It's all part of your positioning. Uh, Pilgrim, you gonna come downstairs anytime soon? It's probably better this day up there. Oh, no. I mean, I can't cancel, so... They can break the pillars, but the pillars are good for absorbing one jump. It's all about spending resources when you're doing magic, so like, kind of how I think about it. I play the Faith Caster and the the Mage totally different, by the way. the The Faith Caster, because the damage is so high. I play uh, more aggressively, even though I shouldn't, just because it's more exciting, because you see these big damage numbers. <laughs> Whereas the mage, it's like tiny pew-pews over a long fight. Hey, love the draw. I don't know if you saw the, the gilded. I, I, um, I realized that I had a big like fa like uh, fan art um, folder. And then I was I was missing some fan arts actually. I went on like Twitter to go look for the Eric Kennedy piece. I couldn't find it, but Eric Kennedy did um, a piece for Horizon Quest like fan art. I thought with, you posted it. I I did, but um, there he did two. He did one where he, he didn't have the fairy in uh, the armor, and I I kind of I, I the one with the fairy is better, but they're both cool. So I I wanted to put the other one up there. I can't find it though. I um. 
You can find it on his social media, probably. Yeah, I went scrolling for a while. He didn't hashtag it um, Horizon Quest, so he probably, like, did it at you. And I know there's probably a way of checking, like, like the exchanges between two uh, users. So I could find it on there, but I don't know how to do that. And also, I, but, you know, I'll figure it out eventually, I'm sure. It's so satisfying seeing you just, like, smash dudes in full armor with gigantic swords wearing a crusader helm. Mm. It's, uh... Like, you seem, you seem rather frustrated, but... Yeah, so long as you're having fun, that's what matters. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, you know, don't worry about it not being... Is that window overlooking the... No, it's not, look... it's not overlooking the boss room, never mind. No. It's a cliff. Yes, thank you. Thank you for doing fan art and stuff. Yeah. So glad you liked our characters enough to, like, put them in a picture. There was, um, there was someone in, uh, this writing gilded that I'm in. I guess I should say writing guild, um, that I'm in. Um that uh, uh they were they were talking about like how they hope one day to get like fan art of their characters and i was like oh yeah that's cool it's like a cool cool feeling but it's it's very different because it's like the visuals of the character kind of in a sense like belong more creatively to to trisha than me Whereas, like, a character that I, like, write down, you know, it, like, doesn't exist in a visual space, so fan art is... Uh-huh. Oh, that, like, that actually spooked me. I, uh... I heard him coming over. Oh. It's alive. Somehow, fucking these swords are, like, impossible. Funny that drawing should come up because I took part in a Twitter art meme that involved a dress very similar to Astrid's. Huh. I don't really know what to call that sort of outfit, but it's a like loincloth. Yeah, but technically a loincloth is only in the front. Oh, like there's nothing in the back. Of a loincloth, yeah. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. That's weird. So it's just like open ass in the back? Yeah. I've never seen that before. Yeah, I thankfully haven't either. But, um. Typically it's like a. a dude thing, I think. It's pretty gay. Yeah. I don't know if it's open ass in the back or if it's like open ass for business. It's like girded or something. This there's like um Oh nice. Oh stupid fucking asshole. I hate him. He's gonna jump up. Yeah. He like he went diagonal, right? Like he jumped up and then zipped left. Whoops! Shit! I wasn't worried. I've fallen off that thing enough times. I I don't know. I have a weird fondness for this fight. As long as you don't walk forward, by the way. As long as you stay right there, the rest won't spawn until there's been like a certain timer. Uh, okay, they should be coming now. I think. Yeah, there's one. I don't remember what the the indicator is, but I just like I sort of like know when they're coming. 
Yeah, I have, I have a weird fondness for this fight because it was so frustrating, but at the same time, I kind of like. Oh my god, they do dodge! Huh, you're right. Are they dodging the spell? I think they're just dodging me. Whew. They're so skinny. You'd think that, like, slamming they're, like, the They're, like, both aggroed on me? Like, yeah. the whole time? You might want to fight them alone. You'd no, be... I don't want them both to be aggroed on me. But you'd be surprised how much damage you can do. But I can't heal. I don't have any adaptability. It's okay. Who needs healing? Me. When I get hit. Which I inevitably do. Hmm. You don't need adaptability. I didn't say I needed adaptability. No. I needed distraction. Hmm. Explorers. I'm trying to think like how you would... I don't think I would, um... How do you heal in that fight? I know I that was something I struggled with, was, like, finding a time to get a life gem in. I think that fight was when I kind of decided that, like, Estus was never the thing to use. The, I think the element that was frustrating about the fight, though, was... The fact that I was using up resources. Uh, I would say the run back. For, well, I'm just saying for me. Yeah. Is for that... me, I would say the run back. The run back in Dark Souls 2 is always less annoying because of the fact that you're slowly making progress towards never having to do it again. Because eventually there will be no Well, like, more. compared to other run backs, I suppose. This is also like more a more honest run back where they're like, yeah, we want you to fight all this stuff. Whereas like, I felt like the the run back for like the um, what do you call the the samurai guy in the the DLC? The run back for that guy I found to be like kind of aggravating because it's like they they want you to do this big complicated level before they'll let you try again on the boss. And, like, the Smelter Demon fight, I guess it's an optional boss fight, but that whole, like, pull the lever, run through the jail cell, get shot with a giant cannon, it's, it's like, such a fucking Willy Wonka adventure. Whereas this is, like, shit ton of dudes that have cool-looking armor and a cool sword uh, want to fight. Hey, Gabe. Welcome, welcome. Mm, okay, so the... Yeah, it looks like the rumble stream is skipping here or there. Well, I guess we didn't fix it. Well, it... It seems to be doing better. I... I never trust the, um... Dodging the, uh, jump-up attack. Well, like, you can't even see it coming. Quite literally. That was a shit ton of damage. When they come up on the far end, you can, like, stand out of it, but... There should be a, They come one after another, so one should be close to you. Uh, okay. Yeah. That wasn't nice. Yeah. 
I'm sorry, rumblers. Hopefully, I, I don't know if my voice skips. People can't, like, hear me when it gets choppy. I hit dodge! What the fuck? You got him. Yeah. I wonder what you can make with the ruined sentinel soul. Uh, maybe the halberd or something? Heavy homing soul arrow. Mm. Gotta go check the lore video for why. I wouldn't have minded their hammers. They're quite aesthetic. So, I would try to change, try to lower the, the bit rate for Rumble, because I think that's what people have said is like, whatever you normally stream at, you have to cut it in half. So, it was at 2,500, so I changed it to 1,750, which is not half, but I figured like, it didn't have to be half half. I was wrong though, apparently. But I'll like post the YouTube link in chat if anyone's even there. Yes. Uh, so they can watch without, you know, assuming that they're not allergic to YouTube, which I know a lot of people are growing an allergy to YouTube, which is fair. do be kind of kind of gay.
Oh, this guy. It's like the, the bell midgets. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Do you remember this? Uh, vaguely. So you can, you can kill him if you want. He, um, the, that, this requires that you go online for it to function. So, essentially, you would be, um, if you walk in there, you would be, uh, like, or you'd be invaded, I guess? Uh, yeah. I think I... I can't remember what you get from beating that section. The other ladder. Here, but chatting somewhere else. Something so cute is happening there. So cute. What is so cute? I need to know. I need the cute. Yes. Trisha needs the kawaii. I have nothing else. I need the cute. Is there a... Yeah, on the left, right? There's gotta be one. I know there's one. It looks like there would be. No, right? like, go further, go further. I know there's one. I know there's one. Yeah. Ah. Fucking knew it. Ah, it's just another way in. No. It's more than that. Hush. I think. Can't you jump from here to somewhere? I mean, that's where I dropped down. Yeah, so you don't need there. Yeah, and I already went over here uh, to get the item, right? I already got the item. Oh, okay. You jumped over? Yeah, I jumped uh, over. Oh, gotcha, okay. And then one of the cells in that hallway explodes as you walk Yeah, past. I already exploded it. Right, right, right. Alright, well, let's not worry about that for now, then. Break everything. You drop it on the gilded? Let's see. Yeah, we got such crazy, crazy good fan art for Horizon Quest. Yeah, it was quite fun. So I've noticed a, a, a couple people... Oh, this, then the second door opens and they all explode on you? That's right. Yeah. And then to the left is the funny, like, dinosaur door. Yeah. Oh, you're just gonna... They don't just suicide once, they, like... Well, I was trying to get them all in one spot, but it oh, didn't yeah. work out. Ah, oh, God, that didn't hit... Looks like it would have. 
Gotta use the uh, exploding swords. Oh, look who it is, or honeydew. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, hey. I think the door on the left is the where you open it, and then the skeleton, the like the dinosaur bones fall out. Oh yeah. Oh no, but people drop down from above. This is so much easier to manage with giant swords. With magic, it's How like. Did... It's really that should have killed him. Maybe this isn't the, the room with the uh, the dinosaur bones. We already went through the bones, didn't we? Where you like open the door and then they stay there for a second and they go... Boo, 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 boo. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I already opened that door. No. I was looking forward to seeing that. You missed it. Mm. It's all gone now. <laughs> That's a funny prank. So in Scholar, the first time you fight a pursuer over here. Interesting spot. Yeah, like, but yeah, there's, it's not, it's not one of these walls opens and then you, um, yeah, it's on that wall. Ah. Yeah, you fight a pursuer out here. What a terrible location. Yeah, I know, I, I don't understand it at all. They were just like, oh, you know it'd be sick if the Pursuer Knight appeared like a hundred fucking times. Yeah. It already did. <laughs> yeah, it was. It appeared in interesting locations. Yeah, it, it appeared in locations that it makes sense to try and fight them. Ooh, What's that down a, there? Yeah, we got a red guy. Can't really see him. Well, you gonna make the jump? Yeah. Oh, it's just another one of those dudes. So confident with the jumps. It's a lot easier in Dark Souls too, for whatever reason. Yeah, compared to the first game, I'd say so. It's just maybe more forgiving. He dropped it in the Gilded Server General Chat. So I watch this streamer during the mornings. She always complains about how her dog keeps her up all night walking up and down his dog stairs and whimpering at her. I sent her an anxiety buddy for her doggo, basically a stuffed animal with a heartbeat. Tonight she sent me this, and it is a cute puppy. Aww, that is so sweet. Now, do you have any fragrant branches of your? I guess not. Yeah. I think they take those from your inventory when you're new game plus. Hmm. Makes sense. That's fine. What a lunatic. Ah, uh, yes. I wonder what that item is. The medieval method of transportation. <laughs> Cages. So the Daily Wire, um, we have a uh, like a membership to their like premium thing, um, and because um, I figured it should be like after they they announced like Bent Key, I was like that's amazing. What a I like that they're um, investing in animated projects also. Yeah, as I, someone I think really cool. who who knows that um, people who want to do animation have very limited options, it's nice to see. Yeah, you know. if only the Samurai Jack guy could have gone to them, because <laughs> he had a pretty interesting set of characters, and then modifying it over the years until he had like just the worst, the trash. Um, yeah, so they there's a show that's like pretty pretty amusing. 
Um, yeah, Judge. you had the instinct too. So it's a. Uh, so I believe what they've done is like it's Matt Walsh being like Judge Judy, and I think what they've done is they've gotten him licensed as a. Um, mediator? Is that what yeah, I think it like a mediator or something like that, or there's like a type of court that. Like, Judge Judy doesn't need to be wearing her judge outfit for her job. She's not a real... Like, she's a real judge, but the the job she's doing is normally done in, like, regular clothes, I believe. And it's just kind of, you have a conversation, and then they come up with, like... They act as, like, the, the mediator or something. I can't remember what it's called, but... Oh, yes, there's Rise. I remember this. Trying to watch the cool dragon cutscene, dude. So, so those crossbowmen aren't there in the regular. Darn it! I missed it because of you. So there's, there's no crossbowmen there. Was that just Scholar of the First Sin? Yeah, yeah, you're thinking of Scholar. That's so retarded. Why do they make that change? They're like um lower, below lower, but they're they're not also up here, you know. Okay, yeah. I mean, that makes sense. It's just... So, so if you don't know, there was a remake version of this game <gasps> called Scholar of the First Sin. <gasps> you son of a bitch. You actual fucking bitch. He, he planned it out. He knew. Uh, so there's a remake version of this game, which makes it ten times worse. And they added... It's like an overhaul mod. <laughs> yeah, it's like a shitty overhaul mod that, like, is really insecure about trying to make the game It's more hard. like an add enemy mod, actually. Oh, there they are. Oh, okay, they are there. I guess they were on lunch break before. Yeah. I guess on your first approach, they kind of fall down, chasing you in. Mm. Jax is an arbitrator, yes. And and yes, these are usually informal events. Man, they are aggroed immediately upon you spawning there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not cool. That is probably the worst feature of Dark Souls 2. Well, no, the death thing is where you... Every time you die, if you don't use these rings, you lose maximum or, health. Or, like, the effigies. Yeah, you lose your maximum health, and then uh, to get it back, you have to use a a limited item, and if you're not, like, cheating in, cheating it in, you'd have to farm it. And um, in previous Dark Souls games, they were extremely limited. Come on, buddy. you up? You want me to put you on this couch? God. Your swords are gonna be the death of me. Sit down. Having too much fun being in your face. Here, sit. Here, sit. Oh. Good boy. Who's a good boy? Who's you? <gasps> Look at that. My favorite. 
No. Yeah. No. I remember that. You should, like, fight stuff before you summon her. Because mm. she tends to fall off cliffs. So there's the, yeah, there's the mutants that attack you in the water, right? And you just poise through that shit? Damn. Alright. Clear out this area first. Really? Oh my god, he can attack through walls, but mine's ding off. Ugh. Hi, right, buddy. You a big fan of pets? Yeah. Okay, so sex scenes. How would you handle them in your stories? I want to hear how it differs in the production. Oh my and... god, that was so much damage. Why was that so much damage? You know, in Elden Ring... Why was that more damage than the other guy? The, um... The bouncing off stuff? There's a bunch of guys that, like, crawl out of the water in this, right? Yeah. Did I kill him? I think I got it. <laughs> you, you. you just put your head down so I can give you a patch. Look at this guy. You're so cute, Kirk. Yeah. He loves getting his pets. You want to wave to stream? You know, in Elden Ring, they, um, they handle exactly what you're... Um, disgruntled about a little bit better. They do have some enemies that like clang on walls. I think if they clang on a wall, they're supposed to do less damage, whether they ha they wasted the time to make an animation for them failing or not. I believe that is the case. I would sure hope so. Buddy, you should show puppy wuppy. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I think I got them all. I think I got them all. How would you handle them in your stories? I don't know. I don't know what. Walls. <laughs> I don't. I don't really like. Erotic wholesomeness. Yeah, I think that's like the goal, right? But I, it's kind of a very broad question. I don't, I don't really understand like what um, exactly you're asking, but so so um, there's something I've observed, right? That I wanted to kind of contest. So pulling that lever like rouses them all out of their cells. But if you've already ah, you know, I didn't realize there were more. That is so much damage. I know! For some reason they do more damage in this area. Yeah, and you know... It's... They did more damage than the mutants! Doesn't make any sense! Like with their punches, right? Yeah. Like that punch did a shit ton of damage. So after you rest, they're still gonna be... Oh, they're not, okay. No, it's just when you get up. Yeah, it's miserable. That's the worst. Uh, yeah, we're bonfire for that exact reason. Yeah, I don't know if it's like my place as a guy, like as like a a, a writer to be trying to like fight the culture war or whatever, or like. I think it is actually. Yeah. I think we are perfectly equipped to do exactly that. <laughs> Fucking assholes. Whoop. Oh, you're trying to get up, but now I'm giving you a scratch. What are you gonna do? Oh, you're gonna have to deal with scary Trisha. Oh no. 
Because you want the scratch more than you want safety. No scratchies for cowards, Gurky. He was already scared upon coming to the cabin. Yeah, he always is. He's always like, I'm not sure what game Trish is playing. <laughs> Uh, he's always like not sure if he can get on the couch or not. Hmm. Would it be better just to hit left bumper if you have to swing twice? I guess it kind of comes out to the same result. It's like. So feels faster. I don't know if it actually is, but it feels faster. Man, the stutter on Rumble was fucking real. It's just like a still image. Can you go back for a second and go into the, the first cell on your right uh, when you first enter in the other right? Yeah, the, the first cell. What cell? And, yeah, that one. So check the wall uh, for hidden doors. I think, yeah, that discoloration, I think, is a door. I forget what's out there, but if you follow along the left side, I believe there's an item. Okay. Now I remember. That's all? Yeah, I don't think anything else is safe, yeah. But, um, that, now I remember what that's for. That's, uh, it, gets, it lets you attune more spells. Ah, okay. Yeah. Never cared for Saxons giving a good old boot scene like in Star Trek. How they did it is not uh, as integral to the plot as that they do it. Hand to the boots and move on. Knowing when to put it is important. Um, so here's here's something, right? While you might be correct, you're only correct, like, kind of in the world. Like, you might be objectively correct, but sometimes being subjectively correct is more important. Um, so, something I've observed is in a lot of media, oh, now this is, this is like true in a, in a lot of stuff. I, I know particularly Hollywood is full of creepy producers that want to, um, they want to use like titillating content for sort of nefarious purposes 
Yes. By the way, um, you're doing this on hard mode. I don't know if that's your like intention. That's totally valid. I just... If you fight the gargoyles first, you get a key that makes you able to open that, uh, go through without pulling the lever and summoning all the... All the, the... No, the lever's already pulled. Okay. It also gives you the key to turn on the lights for the fight, so you don't have... Um... Oh, so you can walk on or whatever. Yeah, and it doesn't matter for you because you're, you know, doing melee stuff. Oh, oh. I've heard about this. They add enemies to this section that guard those doors that don't let you uh, put the keys in and, like, turn on the lights. Interesting. And then in the fight, I believe they've changed something. So this is the chaos from, uh, this is like that, the bed of chaos that everyone hates from the first game that's the same bug mm, crawls into. and then this character is supposed to be a she what yeah it's supposed to be a female the uh obviously doesn't look like it at all so yeah like... i was getting like Baldwin the leper vibes with the mask yeah oh how did i miss Oh, maybe it's on a different new game cycle? I'd heard that there were um, pyromancers in the fight. Or that they enter in at a certain point. So oh. maybe we'll get to see them. Man, this is hitting me at weird angles. So, so I've, I've noticed that, like, oh yeah, there they are. Well, that's cool, huh? Certainly. Oh, the Forbidden Sun! <laughs> I didn't expect that. Holy shit. That's a crazy spell to give them. Uh oh. oh that's, so that's my favorite, probably. Probably my favorite spell. Forbidden Sun, I actually don't enjoy using that much, but that spell I really enjoy using. It's like a landmine you put Get in the air. Get away from my girlfriend! Oh my god. Why did it lock me into like seven hits? I only hit it twice. I don't like watching explicit sex scenes kind of gross. Alright, well... I think this also depends on the medium, right? So... I've noticed that kind of across the board, there's a lot of, like, titillating content that's sort of, uh, like I said, used, like, nefariously. Like, I would say that, like, the narrative position of a producer that tells the writer they have to put in a, um, a rape scene, for example, I would say that's sort of... I would say that person should be hanged. Right. <laughs> but I, I, I think they're... Their purpose is to appeal to the sort of like, um, maybe, maybe not always, right? People but I, I, like, I can never get a girl unless I rape her. Yeah. So I would say it kind of, and, and like, you know, I, I, I don't want to like, like make this argument on like, a as like, a, what do you call it? A, 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 a obelisk? I'm old. I, yeah, I don't want to make this argument as like a, a an obelisk, like it's always true, but I think a, a lot of the time the purpose behind that is to kind of appeal to that like creature who's like, I can never get a girlfriend. Um, all all women are whores. <laughs> uh, they deserve. I always um, I theorize that part of the reason why uh, girls enjoy that type of uh, porn is just because oh, I guess I didn't break any of my rings. Is just because uh, they want a man to be like masculine and aggressive, and they don't really get that mm -hmm. nowadays because men are yeah. encouraged to, or well, at least women are not allowed to ask for that because yeah. feminism yeah. tells them that they can't want that. Yeah, and so like, they find it in other ways, yeah. more toxic ways. Yeah, and there's 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 like a, a difference between being masculine and being a rapist, but of course, you know, doing doing research for treading water. Uh, I, I I read a bunch of different, like, romance stuff. Um, and not just, like, Japanese stuff, although most of what I was consuming was, like, Japanese comics. And uh, I would say 
Like I. Oh yeah, so every bo uh, every like important boss you beat, the uh, bright bugs go up by six thousand. In uh, in price. Interesting. I already have some bright bugs, but I don't know. So, so yeah, I, I, I would see it a lot, like very like rapey interactions between the, the two romance characters and like those like, ro like, you know, romance stories. And they're not like, they're not like designed for, um, like a, a, a thing that always gets thrown around is like, oh, this is designed for teenage boys. It's like, most of what I was reading was content aimed at middle-aged women like it was romance with that uh that audience in mind and almost always the dynamics are very like so i guess attunement to eventually cast spells or yeah you know Dicks. what <laughs> let's put some points into attunement everyone's like oh you should have oh, agility you have to get it up to 10 uh, you know i think it might be 11 before you get one slot that's so or is it brutal. eight is it eight maybe well, you can look it up, I think, but... You could also equip the Northern Ritual Band, I guess, to get a slot. <laughs> That's it true. Gives you, it gives you one extra per plus one, uh, or plus I'd ranking. have to stop wearing my glorious Crusader helm. <laughs> no, it's a ring. Oh, I thought it was literally a band around your head. Yeah. Um, let's see. So you could do Hyde's Tower of Flame. That's true. Fight Ornstein, fight the uh, Dragon Rider. Yeah, that's, that's something. I guess that's... And then you could proceed through there to the, um, the pirate place. You could also drop down to the gutter. It's always an option. <laughs> but if you do Hyde's Tower of Flame, then you can proceed on towards the, um, the Iron Keep. And then you could incense your spells. Anyway, I I would say that there's a lot of like sexual content out there already that is degenerate. Yeah, degenerate. And um, <laughs> now I I think people without realizing the effect of like people, um, especially like the religious argument you will end up with people concerned with wholly doing good for good sake, like doing good acts in isolation, not considering what the effect of doing a good act is. And that obviously has as much folly as doing acts in terms of their result. Like there's some sort of middle ground that's what you should be doing. So, for example, I watched, like, a, he's a, this is, like, a Daily Wire guy, uh, Andrew Clavin. I listened to, um, so many people couldn't figure out how to get past this point, by the way. So I'm glad to see someone, um, also confused. I didn't get confused, but, um, like, how to open the door is not super evident. A lot of people came here then left, because they thought they had to do something else to unlock it. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, that's fair. It's very hidden away. So he was saying that he thinks a uh, sex scene should only uh, be present to display, like, trauma or something like that, right? Mm. It's essentially his conclusion after, then like... then people only associate sex with trauma. Right. Yeah, that's an issue. And, and uh, mm. sort of, there's also other, other ways, like, less extreme, right? But, like... So, for example, like, fairy tale. I, I went over a friend's house, and they had fairy tale on, which is, like, essentially just a slideshow, if, you ever, if you've ever watched it. It's so poorly animated. But there's, um... So there's one picture on the screen that's being slowly panned across with sound effects. And I think her name is Lucy? But it's the, the blonde-haired, like... Yeah, I think that's Lucy. Yeah. 
I still don't remember the red hair lady. It's like Urza or Ezra or something. Urza, yeah. Urza, okay. Ezra is the pedophile guy. <laughs> All right, well, let's calm down. Ezra is like a, uh, it's a Jewish, um, like, a prophet or something. <laughs> no, no, I was, I was talking about Ezra Miller. I, I know, but he's named after, like, a Jewish prophet. And then Urza is the character from uh, Dominaria, like the, the Magic the Gathering plane. He's an artificer or whatever. And so she's also named Urza with an E instead of a, a U. So this guy, I think, doesn't respond, right? And he gives you bone dust? Sublime bone dust? Anyway, um, hell yeah. Look at look at that autism train chugging. <laughs> Choo choo, all aboard! Yeah. I can never, I can never pick it up because I always have Max. Yeah, <laughs> wonder why, wonder why. <laughs> um. So anyway, she's like tangled up in like tentacles or something, and she's like, oh no, oh, right? Oh, it's so hot. Yeah. So. I'm so sexy being raped by this. Yeah. Sure. Monster. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's, let's calm down. Um. But yeah, essentially. Yeah, it's like this this semi like titillating uh, content, right? And you know, so you know, I talked. There's a lot of these guys, huh? Oh, they added one more for the uh... yeah. They added a guy with the mace in the back. That's right. So when you talk about like a mental diet, right, if someone's consuming a lot of media, their intake of like sexual content is going to be, you know, left to its own devices, like wholly degenerate, like um, weirdo stuff, right? Mm. And I think when you're like talking about like young men and like what's going to be appealing media that like affects them uh it's just not effective to say there shouldn't be oh, any man. any uh, sexual oh, content yeah. or if there should not be sexual content boys, apparently. then it like should only involve like their boots or something whether or not that's objectively true i i think subjectively you're in a world with so much degenerate sexual content that you have to like outweigh it yeah, something. to not have any options for wholesome sexual content, I think, is probably a mistake. Yeah, especially in porn. Right. Yeah, so people are going to... I mean, like... Yeah. So... So, I don't know. I, I, I think... I love the stained glass windows. So good. Yeah, they are pretty. I, I think there should be some amount of, like, wholesome eroticism that exists. Um, I love that there's color in Dark Souls too. That is incredible, isn't it? Yeah. So good. So you know, and I, I think like another another thing that was certainly effective uh, on young people when I was I was growing up and watching The Daily Show oh, was I um. So much. I was it so much. was uh the the them pretending that there are no attractive conservative women right but in reality if you're attractive you're probably going to tend more towards being conservative because you don't need these other ideologies like you don't need to be a porn star or a uh, only fans model or a I mean, when you want to defeat the male gaze, <laughs> right? You're probably not very attractive to begin with, right? Like if you have a yeah, essentially. If you want to change what men are attracted to, probably not attractive. Like the reality oh is, my God. what is that? Oh, it's a lance. Ah, man. He's got the same problem you do. So there's always that. Talking to spite. You can read very fast. Yeah, I guess so. I guess I was ready for it. 
Um, <laughs> you ready for me to just click past it? Mm-hmm. Yes. You just like the feeling of getting an item, you don't care what it is, you're just like, yes, it is. Yes, Things. Know. Number go up. Number go up. Uh, so anyway, I remember there was, like, back in the Facebook days, there was, like, there was, like, a 4chan page, right? Um, and they would occasionally post a very attractive woman, and then it would be this, like, autism Sherlock Holmes, like, adventure trying to figure out, like, who she was, uh, where where are there more pictures. And whenever it was, like, a very, very unbelievably attractive woman, the conclusion would always come to that she married this, like, 6'5", jacked farmer in the middle of nowhere, and she's on her sixth kid, right? It was, like, always... The, it was, like, a, it was almost a meme. Like, the most unbelievably attractive women, they're not actor actresses or models or anything they're just just some guy's wife yeah they're just someone's wife and they also don't produce a shit ton of media to you know fight the the information war etc but but essentially if you have like media that like young young men will be consuming and they all they're seeing are uh sexy titties are associated with the the left that that does steer a man's ship right so i would say so not that like i'm some like emperor of propaganda like designing um my content with that in mind i just it's just something to keep in mind is like in general like when you're thinking about sort of grander concepts of like what's what's like a good thing or a bad thing to have out there as far as media i think this that is a pertinent um, factor to consider is that it does have it, the, it does have an effect yeah the fact that like Netflix has tons and tons of like softcore porn masquerading as like well, they had that one show that was causing all those teens to commit suicide right yeah but that that's not <laughs> oh is there sexual content in there I don't know. oh yeah okay, well, that's, okay. that was the one where the kid gets uh, raped with a broomstick in the high school bathroom I forgot about that part yeah yeah well, it's so ridiculous that it's like, really? Who thought about this? <laughs> uh, Alright, so let's see. We got a whole lot of healy wheelies over here. So you bought her out of all of her stock. Now she has one more lightning spear that you could get at some point, but... I could get it now. Yeah, it's not... I mean, you can't equip any, so... I mean, yeah. Not super important, but yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I also fully upgraded, like, the strongest lightning chime for you. I don't know if you can equip it at all, but, you know, it is an option in there. Okay. So anyway, um... Ezra Nehemia books where boomer jews complain the old temple is better than the newfangled hebrew kids uh went and took babylonian wife who's oh right okay so he's the guy who's like no race mixing right he's like uh he makes all the jewish men like abandon their their babylonian wives and go wander into the desert or something hmm. interesting I took a Jewish history class once. I forget <laughs> most of it, but the, the professor was super cool. Where's the Crusader history class, huh? Me over here trying to talk to another streamer on Discord while Adam is talking about lung pumpkins. Lung pumpkins. Lung pumpkins? What the heck is that? Oh, the boobies. I didn't get that. That takes like a high middle school stat. To uh, put that together. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a very weird combination because it doesn't make you think about that at all. I guess maybe that's the idea. That's why it's code. It made me think about just like horrible tumors. <laughs> yeah. It's a night set. Oh, night. So the old knight armor is kind of cool because it has very high stats, but it degrades very quickly. Mm. 
So it's like tragically. Almost, yeah, it's a, it's almost like an interesting. It's like tempting early on, but then you know you can't get through a whole level, so you have to swap. And it really like made you engage with the durability system. If you if you tried out any of that gear, it would break partway through the level. You'd be swapping it out, but it gave you good good stuff for a while. Yeah. It's interesting. The durability system makes melee more like spell casting, but like people get so mad about the durability system to look. Stuff shouldn't. I shouldn't have to run out of stuff. But then, like, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Yeah, especially but, when you're fighting a boss, it just makes all your equipment just burst. Right. But the same people who would complain about it are not complaining that spells have limited uses and you can't regenerate magic. Mm. Right. So it's it's like super hypocritical to be like, well, the way I play should be stronger. It's like, yeah, I mean, okay, but, yeah. <laughs> Also, I don't know, it, it does make, like, it's kind of, it's it, if you could pause mid-combat, it would be much more reasonable to have stuff break all the time. But since you can't, it, it's, you know. I don't I guess they figure that spells in general are stronger. Yeah, I, I think it just, people just assume spells are strong because they don't use them. And so they assume <laughs> that the other way is always better. But then, like, yeah. I made, like, a random dumbass Dark Souls character... Uh, with just a two-handing a shitty melee weapon, and I was like, wow, everything's so fucking easy. It's like... Such a nice elevator they got here. <laughs> yeah. So fancy. Anyway, um... Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Watching movies with, with parents. And, uh, being so embarrassed. Tables are turned now. I made my mother watch The Witcher, and she left at the gore and would sit back down whenever his shirt was off. Uh, yeah. I think I remember saying something like that in another stream. <laughs> This is the first time I met Lucatiel in my uh, first playthrough, and it was such a cool way to introduce an NPC. I had such high hopes for the story. No, I already, I already met her last stream, though. No, but you'll see her again. She appears here, too. Right, right. Okay. So this but is the first time in your playthrough that in you In my saw playthrough her. is the first time. You, any of the locations okay. she appears could be the first time. I thought you meant in general. <laughs> the, yeah, okay. I thought you were saying it's like the first time she appears in game or something. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think she's supposed to appear here for you first, because you probably are supposed to do this area before the other ones, but... Oh, I have no idea. But no, in my first playthrough, this is the first time I saw her. And I think it's such a cool visual uh, presentation, seeing her by the fire, and they swapped it out for no reason to change it for Skull of the First Sin. It's terrible. Yeah, because when you light the fire, right... So if you didn't know if you didn't notice her at first, you light the fire and it's like, who's that? You can also angle the camera to get a better look at her. It's nice. Right. Right, right. The longer I am here, the more madness I discover. A restless place indeed, but not without traces of its former glory. What could have caused such degradation? Oh, no. Go, go rest at the bonfire and uh, put your stuff away. <laughs> That's pretty funny that you can't continue. Of course, I have no idea what it is. Yeah. So that shows that she's hollowing further. She can't tell it's supposed to look like a person. Mm. Or that she should use it 
Yeah. Probably should have given it back. The problem is, if she doesn't know what it is, she can't use it anymore. Mm. So she's already too far gone. Very cool, huh? Yeah, she takes off her mask. The burden of talk of my fate. I suppose I've grown weary of these days. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. Dementia. Bad. So then you summon her here, you summon her for the smelter demon, and that completes her quest, I believe. And then you have to run into her one more time in the gutter. And then you summon her in the DLC and complete her last wish. Mm-hmm. So that's not where I came from? Yes. Okay. So anyway, um... Nothing else over here. So let's keep going. No man's wolf. I think there's something, uh, like, kind of reinforcing about, um, the, you know, there's a lot to say about, like, sexual content, I guess. Um, yes. Everything from, like, the tacit jokes that people make about what is attractive to, um, where you should and could see eroticism um it's a lot to a lot to say there's a lot to consider um as far as like how to do the actual like f sex i almost said fight scene uh <laughs> fuck yeah beat him up i look so cool when i accidentally press buttons i know that's that's <laughs> the thing it's like the kick has always, always pissed me off but that it's like ah uh, it's kind of cool so Throw a little variety in. Could you break that bookshelf? This one? Yeah, I'm suspicious. It's one of the bookshelves, but it's not that one. Yeah. Yeah. It's another bookshelf. Yeah, I know it's not that one. I, I just... I don't like how it looks. I don't trust it. Yeah. Evil bookshelf. Wow, they... Oh, wow. They I'm surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you should be pulling out the king's sword. Yeah, why don't you mix it up? Why don't you, uh, why don't you pull out a, a little uh, ultra great sword? Actually, no, not for this section. This section you gotta sweep. Like, I've noticed in, like, Japanese stuff, one of the, like, sexual fantasies uh, that they throw around or that they meme about is uh, something that gets translated to young wife. Uh, so it's like a, a newlywed wife is supposed to be very sexually active with her husband. 
Yeah, I, I know those bookshelves got yeah. some some too secrets. Too close to the wall. Is that a ring of light protection? Yes. Nice. You know you can get you can get quite a few on your first playthrough. I had four. I had two, three of the regular ones that you use, and then I had one of the more expensive ones that protect you from curse as well. But they cost double the price to repair. And of course, in Scholar of the First Sin, they double the price again. I guess why not? I think you should just automatically be able to toggle on the Ring of Light Protection effect. Am I covered in oil or something? Yes, you are. Uh. They throw oil pots. If you are using a torch in this area in order to keep yourself from, uh, like to allow yourself to be locking on, you will explode when they hit you. But since you're not using a torch, you you don't explode. There are also places you can like carry your torch to light, like checkpoints of like standing unlit torches. You can like light and progress through the area, making yeah. it more more light. Why spend souls to repair when tree? I don't know. I don't know what that. I I'll be honest. I uh, tree? first first instinct is no fucking idea. <laughs> what is tree? You should you should try to new try to new combo. What you getting bored of the swords? Yeah, I'm getting bored of the swords. Mix it up. Do some do some cool. We kill this guy. These guys take two hits, and you have higher damage stuff. Let's uh let's let's mix it up. What do you want? Uh, why don't, why don't you grab the king's sword, the king's ultra great sword? Yeah, yeah. 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 You like? Yeah. Daddy like? Uh, okay. Don't do that. But uh, <laughs> you have to change your chest piece or something. You're you're four percent over. Mm. I like this chest piece. Okay. Uh, change your gloves then. Change your pants. You have to get down below seventy. My most recent art is a big booby elf princess in a revealing dress and got a ton of comments about her feet. Oh god. Hmm. Can we actually not so my point in bringing up the, the young wife thing is um, it's uh, nice. Oh! He's oh. alive. Yeah, he did. He did. He looked like he was doing the death animation. It's quite confusing. Because I thought that just a tiny bit more damage would make you kill, and yet here they are alive. Yeah. Oh, these guys are vulnerable to fire. Grab the smelter sword. What's that outside? What's that behind? You? Is that is that something? Oh, it's just fire. Okay. Oh, Jesus. How about the red smelter? Because that one does fire. Yeah. Can you can you roll? What was your? I didn't see your pain conference. Oh, okay. Nice. This will definitely kill in one hit. Ah. I did not see them. What? Did significantly less. Hell yeah. I know they're vulnerable to fire because when you sometimes when you burn them they go like ah. Maybe that's just when they Oh, maybe it's lightning I'm thinking of. Maybe I'm wrong. Where's Goblon? Goblon will, Goblon do. Oh, there we Boys, arrows, poison. You don't want to poison anybody? No. That's the thing with the like, elves, right? They often are described as like barefoot. So the the chest on the right is trapped. The one on the left, I think, is fine. Another great sword, solid. So you should dodge diagonally because will he be fine. Uh, he will be fine. Yeah. If it's a crossbow trap. Go diagonal. If it's any trap, then. Yeah, see. Did 
So also, I bought a new um, buzzer to, to shave with. It goes super fast, man. It is super like, it's like, Hell yeah. it's great. And uh, I was so sick of my beard getting like overly long. But some, someone, who knows, who knows who, uh, threw out the cable to charge my, my other trimmer. So I had to get a new one. But the new one I got, I got like upgraded. I got a better version of the same company. And uh, it's, it's pretty nice. So I decided to like buzz it all off. I want to uh, I want to get back on the horse of like chewing mastic gum and like working my jaw to be uh, more more Giga Chad tier, right? Hell yeah. So. Be more manly. Yeah. Remember Love to Draw was talking about um. Ring a ding ding. Uh, like uh, w when he has uh, kids, he's gonna give them only the. Uh, most overcooked steaks so they become powerful. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice thought. I can't believe they're not dying in one hit. Hello. So I think... If I'm not mistaken, I don't know for a fact. I believe outside there should be a ninja. So be prepared to kill a ninja. Yes, sir. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, God. Is the Tell ninja going to be here? Okay. I don't see a ninja. But then again, you wouldn't until it's too late. That is true. So there's there's ex there's armor sets exclusive to New Game Plus. The ninja set is one of them. So you can only farm it in New Game Plus, and it is an enemy here, I believe. Is it plus one? I don't know. Is it plus like but three? But we'll, we'll know if a ninja attacks you. I guess so. Uh, so there's a, a shard here. Wow. Nice back set. Yeah, very cool. So these guys are called Varangians, and if you're curious what that is referring to, uh, the the Roman Emperor hired Vikings uh, during his time. Hell yeah. And they were referred to as Varangians. So I think that's one of the destroyable walls. Let's go. No. Hi. Oh wow, you barely. No, you poisoned you. See. For future reference, there's 11 coins there. They also cure it. Okay. Uh, but go back. Break the wall. Oh, this. Lizards. I know. Lizards. Ah! Yeah. You just don't make it doable with giant swords when you have, like, the dinging problem. I love that this is wholesome because it is Adam. My brother, uh, same one with the neighbor yesterday, uh, had me fix his battery shaver, then he revealed he exclusively used it to shave his balls. <laughs> awesome. Did you say you're gonna? So you're you're getting ambushed. This pussy. <laughs> I assumed it was because his shaver was bro- Oh, because he had a beard, and you assumed it was because it was broken, and you're not sure if he was joking to this day. That's funny. 
Well, did he have a clean shave? Because you can't get a clean shave from a, um, like a beard trimmer. Pokemon Go androge androgenized the two body types into a unisex monstrosity and players aren't happy. Yeah, I heard that they were consulting with Sweet Baby Ink. That's probably a bad idea. So, feeding my children jerky. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Why here? I'm having a conversation. The, the fucking balls, you have to swing horizontal with an NPC right there. I mean, the vertical doesn't hit, so what am I going to do? I mean, well, if you don't want to... Do you mean, like, why don't you chop up your weapons if you don't want to use verticals? I thought verticals would be better for hitting. And he was wrong. Any of these two? Well, Soul Arrow is obviously, like, the best spell ever, but you're not going to use that, so... Um... I think you hit talk a couple times, so go back to the bonfire. My brothers are a-holes. Sounds like good brothers. <laughs> My nieces are nicer, they ask uh, to fix stuff and never pick it up. At least you're like the guy though, isn't that cool? Isn't that sick? You like, people are like, oh, you're like an artificer or something. Like, uh, I got a, you know, a toaster. Make work. That helmet you can get uh, in the ghost form. Oh my god. Oh my god. The combo. <laughs> There's an archer taking shots too. You fixed her laptop, your Apple MacBook Pro and Switchblade uh, for one niece, and she still can't bother to pick it up after six months? I don't know. I If it was me, I'd, uh, it'd be a, a fun excuse to go uh, see my uncle. But how does anyone live without their laptop anymore? She just, like, exists on her phone, doesn't have school? I mean, my parents practically do everything on their phones. So I have no idea. Now the water's rising. Time is of the essence. That's uh, not. I mean, it only rises when you enter, but yeah. Oh, oh, you gotta, you gotta not. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta bone out. Why? If you kill him, then you mess up Luke Teal's quest line. Why? You have to summon her for this fight. That's a long walk to summon her for this fight. Are you sure I have to summon her for this fight? I, I didn't see any summon signs anywhere. You, you, the summon sign is at the shortcut. What shortcut? Well, I shortcut in big air quotes because it's terrible, but yeah, there's a shortcut in this level. I have guys night every uh, guys night with my bros every Thursday. That's awesome. How many brothers do you have? Hmm. 
Yeah, you should, uh, you, you're gonna cover her, her MacBook in embarrassing stickers, uh, until she picks it up. You should, you should, uh, you should put stickers on it that will get her a, a good husband, like, I don't know, Trump 2020 or something. <laughs> Where's the shortcut? Uh, the shortcut's above you. If you, um, fly, you can, uh, you can reach it. I can't fly. Yeah, they the one good change in Scholar the first thing is they added a uh, sh another shortcut that's easier. A real shortcut. Yeah. Except you still have to summon Luca Tail the old shortcut. So. Mm. I think they moved Goblin to the shortcut too, instead of the house, which makes more sense. But yeah, that's the shortcut in Scholar the first thing. It's like that bridge. But um. What you do is you run up the stairs, and as you're running up the stairs, you jump off to the right. Not that. This is just like a nightmare, but you, you can... That's also enemies and stuff, you want to do that. Yeah, or is it running down the stairs? Sorry, I don't quite remember. And there's a dog. Don't know where, but there's a dog. Ah, there it is. Tactical. I was thinking more I heart CBT. Is that the, um, or is that, you mean EBT? Like the, uh, like the, the food stamps? Well, this is just a hole. Oh, yeah. Um, Basil Basil points out, I, 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 and I, I realized this after I said it, I, I technically misspoke. You have to summon her for three bosses and her sign appears for four. So if you miss any of the bosses, if, if you miss one boss, it's fine, but you, you need, to, yeah. Um, I believe you can summon her for the rotten, but then you'd have to go fight the rotten. I still don't know where the bush is. Can I see? It's just easier if I hold the Is it um, I thought it was like you uh is that it? No, I I'm sorry, I, it's been a lot of years since I played this. That's yeah, alright. I don't remember. I don't know if I if I did summon her for this boss. Let me see. Is it that? Yeah. So it's not quite what I was thinking it was, but I think it's this. And then it's not open, but that door you have to open. That's her sign. Yeah. So. So just figure out how to get around the other side. Yeah, I guess so. No ninja, by the way. Yet. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't see a ninja. Ninjago. Key. Hmm. So that's what's in there. I remember my first playthrough. I destroyed it. <laughs> Fighting in the small room. Keep in mind, it could also be different for this new game plus you. Cock and ball torture is what CBD stands for. What? That's, uh, he was gonna put a sticker on his niece's laptop that, uh... It says cock and ball torture? says, I love cock and ball torture. Ah, I see. No man's worth from is my favorite place to invade. I ring the bell for the host. And even heal them with warmth. Uh, but the uh, host almost always dies because of mobbing. Wow. Yeah, Dark Souls 3, I used to invade as um, the uh, purple phantoms. And I would always drop warmth for them. 
and uh, like heal them and whatever. But if they got invaded by someone else, I'd kill their invader. Yes. Probably the, the better use of your time. Because it, it's if they have... Um, if they crack the fingers, right, so they could play with more friends, then they get invaded constantly. Um, and in those worlds, I'll, like, hang out and, like, kill their, uh, their invaders. Although, on some occasions, they have been unwilling to accept my peace treaty, and I've been forced to kill all of their friends with, uh, the Forbidden Sun. Or, more likely, the, uh, the lava ball. We like put it on the ground. I always like it when people crack the seed so that I can go like kill all the stuff in their world. Mm. No, I, I don't I don't blame people for being um overly suspicious. Let's do anything good. I don't know. Let's find out. Everything's lit now. Oh, it's like a lighthouse or something. Look up. It is easier to see. I wonder if... No. See? Yeah, it's a big lantern. Yeah, cool. Maybe this will help us find out how the heck we get to Lucasville. It'll probably help you with, like, the vampire things. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. Hmm. Ambitious. If anyone has any suggestions besides Gabe, why do you think Gabe is going to be like giving giving you uh, hentai sticker con uh, <laughs> suggestions? <laughs> yeah, what do you yeah, think? Yeah, that's all he knows. Yeah, it's Gabe hentai is, stickers. <laughs> Gabe is like, what do you think I was going to suggest? I just like interspecies reviewers. As a scholar. <laughs> as a man of culture. Purely in, as a scholarly pursuit. Of course. I simply love critiques. And they review in that, I assure you. I gotta say, there's a lot of people who like, um... I mean, there's, like, the people who meme on degenerate anime and be like, oh, yes, I'm a man of culture, you know, that that stuff. And then there's, like, the other side where they're, like, it's so wholesome <laughs> when, when they, like, like, they uh, try to make an argument that the degenerate anime is actually super wholesome. Mm. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes it is, right? But, oh, yes, they're all scared now. Scared of the light. I'm almost, foul I'm, I'm almost afraid of like friendly fire and goblin through the ceiling. <laughs> the swords are so big. Obviously, oh, I don't think it's actually it. possible. But Gabe has forbidden knowledge. <laughs> Still haven't really figured it out. It's like a puzzle. Oh, um, yeah, no. Continue on through the level, I believe. Like, go... Yeah, so... Where you have the option of ringing the bell, don't ring... Don't go to the spot where you ring the bell. It's, that's the, that's the, the severing point. So, probably there. Yeah, because if that's the drop-off to go ring the bell, then it's a different spot. That's... Can you whisper in YouTube? No, but you can You can whisper in, like, Gilded. Like, you can reply to someone and then hit uh, private okay, so reply. So up there is the bell. 
Okay, so then I think you have to drop down instead of ringing the bell before the bell, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. So it's, is it, this it's, ringing any it, bell? It, it's probably right down there. Or maybe. Uh, don't jump down there, for sure. Let me see. I'll just, I'll, once I like walk around a little bit, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Yeah. You need the muscle memory. Yeah. My brother's the same way. I'm like, how do I fix it? And he's like, I don't know. If I was there, I would just know. So, <laughs> great. It's not. It's nothing super complicated. I remember, right? Is it a is it a drop down? I guess. Uh. Well, I mean. Uh, there is that one area there, I guess, that you can drop down on. Yeah, like, but I don't think I did anything like that complicated. It's there, right? Like that's where you jump down onto. So. So maybe it's actually like simpler than it seems. Maybe there isn't like an ultimatum thing. Maybe it's just like. <laughs> Let's go back this way. What about the door behind you? Um, this is like the room where there's the the guys in the bottom. Sure. I don't know if that like matters. I think maybe I passed it. Like maybe I messed it up. But. Yeah, I guess I messed it up. Because that goes... What is that sound? It's a vampire? Okay, so it was that drop down there? I suppose so. And can you just go upstairs, I guess? I don't know. There's a guy. Oh, I thought I was going to get backstabbed. Yeah. Oh, there. Uh, so it is that. It is actually much simpler than I thought. So you pull that, and that will open your quote unquote shortcut. I would kill everything before you summon just because. I think I already killed most of the things, right? No. Where? On the dock, there's all these people hanging off the edge. Mm. You don't need to go this way. You need to um, just go to the, to the dock. I thought maybe there was a place you drop off. I think the most funny and embarrassing thing you could put on the niece's laptop would just be like a bunch of kawaii anime girls in like like a, like cute anime girls in like slightly provocative poses. Mm -hmm. And then people will be like, oh, what's your, like, what are these cartoon characters? And then she'll be she like, like oh. I don't know, <laughs> actually. Red guy didn't show up? I think a lot of the red enemies don't respawn. Really? Mm -hmm. No, I, th I thought one of them respawned before for me. Yeah. Hmm. I guess he's just too cool. I think it's got the first sin they put Lucatil's sign closer. That would be kinder. I mean, it would be, if they're gonna... You know, they could just fix her pathfinding so she doesn't fall into the water all the time. 
Because what she's doing essentially is like she's trying to fan out so she doesn't follow you in like a super straight line, but that instinct to fan out is what causes her to just walk off the edge. Right. So it would be it would be nice if they just like made it impossible for her to fall off or something. Yeah, or just made her follow more closely. Yeah, and like a linear follow. We always do gags after house-sitting for my parents. We replaced all the family photos with Phil Collins. It's good. I can feel it coming. I gave her an, a, he, a Hego um, hoodie one birthday. It didn't phase her. There's uh, an upsetting amount of girls who are quite young wearing, like, porn references. Yeah, you know, I don't honest. think that is a good sign in general. But, yeah. uh, you know, the the existence of those hoodies are basically just prank gifts because only complete freaks would actually wear those out in public, you know? What if, okay, the inner contrarian in me wants to, like, come up with a scenario where it wouldn't be weird. Uh-huh. But yes, you're correct, you're correct. <laughs> but... I'd be uh, interested to hear your scenario. Okay, let me think about it. Hold on. Uh, okay, wait. I'm sure you can come up with something. No, 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 no I got it. Um, yeah. Easy. The the obvious easy one, I don't want to go for right away, so I'm, like, thinking other things, but let me just, obvious easy answer. Um, come look at you. We have work to do. Yeah. Two, two, two artists, right? Yeah, okay. A guy and a girl. Can I make it any more obvious? They meet at art school. Those are ninjas. Oh my god, pick up the item. It's a ninja set. Shut up. God. What? I'm dying! Well, don't do that. Fucking <laughs> shut up! My god! You got the shadow mask! <laughs> Dude, you could be a ninja. Dude. Dude. <laughs> So, so the Romans outsourced mercenary work to the Scandinavians, and the Scandinavians outsourced their mercenary work to, to the Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They just have a bunch of random, like, Japanese stuff in here, don't they? All right, put on the, put on the ninja mask. Okay. We must know how cool you look. Where, what is this called? It's called the show. Oh, it's up, 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 left, right, I mean right, I mean right. Yeah, shadow mask. Cool. Oh, that looks like... Yeah, it looks like a baga. Caca! Caca? I'm a ninja caca. This actually looks cooler. (laughs) The Varangian hell. But this is always the coolest, of course. This vault. This vault. Oh my god, putting a sticker on the bottom of someone's mouse... Psychopath. Oh, that's the to, worst. They have to peel it off and shit. Yeah. And then it's sticky and sticking to their mouse pad and collecting gunk. That's the first place you get a pyromancy flame. And if you ring the bell before you open it, you have to play through the whole area again to get it. Nightmare. Or run through it. That's brutal, yeah. Okay, so... Let's go on an adventure. Yes. So, two artists, a a guy and a girl. Can I make it any more obvious? Uh Uh-huh. Right? They make a porn game together. (laughs) No, they, um... (laughs) Wholesome. Wholesome, of course. They're both, like... They're both like, uh, they're both like struggling to find like work or whatever, or like, or, or no, even better. 
they added enemies to this area in Scarlet of the First Sin, and it's like such a bad idea because if someone actually dies here, they're gonna fucking hate your game. They're gonna have to play through the whole level, the whole previous level. They have to play through that, the whole yeah, thing that's... after beating the boss, and then they have to. That's map. pretty crazy. It's just very stupid. There's like difficulty, and then there's like just incredibly annoying. <laughs> yeah. Like you're literally ask you're literally just broadcasting to people you can't play this game unless you have cheat engine and can teleport between the zones using an exterior program because it's like is anyone gonna like actually waste that much of their life? It's like when I died after like uh, setting up all the items for a new character in Dark Souls Three. It's like wh why should I do the whole tutorial again? Drop off these items. Why don't I just spawn the stuff I need? Because, like, I don't know. You know, it's good to, like, be patient and, like, earn stuff in a game. But yeah, it's also, yeah, like, I get it. But... There's only so much time you should really be devoting to video games. Like, you should be using video games to, you know, Yeah, you shouldn't take up all up. of your life. <laughs> yeah, they should be, like, charging you up to, like, do other stuff. So, like, I don't know. It just, to waste a massive amount of time to, like, grind for something in an MMO or something always just seems so, like, indulgent. Um... Anyway, it's so like... It's especially irritating for me, because I, I don't have that much time to actually play video games. Okay, so they're art students, right? Okay. And this guy's got, like, a side job, right? And he's, like, super tired, and this girl's like, oh my god, you look so tired. And he's like, oh yeah, no, I got I'm this... I'm just Asian. I got this, uh, job... No, they're not, they're not Asian. <laughs> they, they, uh, they got yeah, this job... I'm like I'm like drawing I'm like drawing stuff and they, they got me working really hard but I you know I need oh. to I need to like oh. make the money I want to be able to buy like you know I want to buy my mom a gift for Mother's Day this year I, I feel bad always being late on Mother's Day or whatever so I really like that I gotta get paid for this job and she's like well let me help you do the job and he's like no no you can't do that and <laughs> she's like no 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 please like and then and then she's like it's like I'll just come over to your place. And I'll, I'll like, uh, I'll help, I'll, we'll, we'll pull an all-nighter, and if I have to crash, I'll sleep on your couch. It's cool. And then he's like, oh, wow, girl inviting herself over to my place? I cannot say no. Hey, fellow crusader. And then, what do they have, what well, is he's his... friendly. Well, they're all, they're all laid on attack you. He's a good guy. Right. If you kill him, though... Crusade with me. Yeah, if you, if you kill him, he drops the Hyde Knight Spear. Right. So then, so then he goes over, he goes over to the place, right? And then he's like, oh yeah, okay, so this is the thing, he's like, don't laugh, this is what I have to draw, right? And then it's like, it's all like porn, right? And then they, they spend the night like laughing and drawing, drawing their hentai together, right? And then... <laughs> drawing their hentai together. And then she buys him the, the hentai sweater, and he's like, I, I, I cannot wear this. And she's like, Pouise? And he's like, well, I, I can't say no to a girl that says Pouise, so, sure. And now he's wearing a, a, a hentai shirt. How about how about that? Is he a freak? Hmm? I just sense danger in there. I know there's so many exploding guys in that little like hovel. Mm. No, you're uh, you're right to sense danger. I also am sensing danger. Ah, uh, the dogs. I remember. I'm gonna add a pick of my coffee mug to the guild. Yes, this is the other side. The enemies are completely skippable and passive. Yeah, the ones in Scholar of the First Sin. This is true. However, um... I mean, that's what goes. That doesn't, like... That doesn't mean someone wouldn't, like, try to fight them, fail, and then fuck up their game, right? You could also be wearing it to sleep. Right? Why would you be wearing it to sleep? Are you that desperate for clothes? Well, if you own it, right? If it's given to you as a gift. This is, uh... 
ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> Just wear a Christmas version of the Hago face. So, so Gabe was saying um, something ironic. Despite owning all those uh, etchy anime, I uh, don't own any hentai on DVD or Blu-ray yet. I mean, why would you want to own it when you can just get it for free online, you know? Unless you want other people to see in physical the hentai that you have watched. I guess some guys like like to show each other the porn they've watched, but I don't really get that. Alright, here we go. Here's a prank. Add a folder called horse porn to his desktop. Add a few pictures of horses to it. Stop. Then take a screenshot of his desktop with the folder on it. Delete the folder. Set the screenshot as his background. Whoa. So it looks like the folder's still there. Uh, that's pretty. It's pretty easily easy to fix. Surprisingly, physical hentai releases do sell well. Yeah, but... Are those people just, like, living alone and expect to be living alone for the rest of their lives? Are those just, like, meats? Non-married meats? I, I don't understand. I don't know. There's plenty of, like, degens that, um... Yeah, I like, mean, like, the classic thing is to, like, rent a porno, right? Not like own it forever to be in your I house. I saw this like indie movie about a girl who like rents porn. Uh huh. And then the guy at the porn shop, it's like a romance with her, her and the guy at the. Oh, was that the, good dick? I think that's yeah. I think, yeah, I think that's I think that's right. You told me about it before. Yeah, yeah. As can be expected. The, the trauma that she goes through, once again, is a uh, rape. Yeah, I guess so. Mm. They never explicitly say so, but yeah, probably. Yeah. That's the implication, anyways. But it's okay, because his dick is good. So what you're saying is a love story like like Good Dick, but with a, a Hago shirt. <laughs> Where it's like, hey, I see you like hentai. Would you like to watch some hentai with QT 3.14? There was a Minecraft server called Boats and Hose. They used to sell t-shirts with a Minecraft boat, ampersand, and a hoe. Mm. Minecraft stopped them. Microsoft stopped them. Is there anything else I'm supposed to do here? The one door is, like, locked, but I don't know where I should have got the key to it. Can I break it? No, I cannot. I think you need the gargoyle key. Okay. So I gotta do that fight. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Well, that's fine. Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? What? Keep on going. Uh, go, go turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Go straight. Go straight. Yeah. Keep going through. You can run if you want. Okay. Just all the way down. Yeah, I was just gonna use the feather to get to the last bonfire. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you, if you opened the thing or not. Yeah, okay. I guess you were, like, looking down at the computer when I did that. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Uh, what time is it? Ooh. Fucking late, huh? Oh, it's 12.19. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The Virgin Greatsword versus the Chad Wooden Door with Key Lock. Yeah. 
I've done the thing where you take a screenshot of the desktop and delete the shortcuts. That's that's cruel and unusual. Beat up some pigs, I suppose. Oh yeah, do you know what happens if you kill them like seven times? You get the big boar to appear. Mm. I think I have gotten a big boar to appear. Pretty fun stuff. You know, these pigs are canonically evil. They have a, a drop rate of, like, cracked red eye. Hmm. Or... They're also just, like, shitter enemies, you know? <laughs> Hard to hit. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. now the merchant guy that sells you the armor in town... If you spend enough money, he will get the butterfly set, or pieces of it. I think you might have to go to the next New Game Cycle to get the rest of the pieces, or you could ascetic. Also, if you kill him, you get a set of armor that gives you souls when you kill him. Gives you extra souls. Yeah, let me just get, like, 155 of these shields, why not? How much money do you have to spend to the shop? I don't know. Try talking to him. Not enough, I guess. We have to, like, refresh the, the place, but, um... I I also, talking to him, he'll like sometimes give you stuff to show you that you're like progressing. Yes, I hear like after he becomes like all cocky and he's like, "Aha, I'm rich!" If you go up to him with uh, zero souls, mm -hmm. he'll give you a special set. Yeah, was, he I, feels bad for you. Yeah, I told you about that. Yeah. That's the invisible armor. Right. That's the Aurus armor. I use the helmet so that I can have my pretty waifu's face out. This D pad, man. <laughs> yeah. Is that enough? Don't forget to get the Estus, uh, the Firekeeper, your Estus shards. Can you get above 10? I would I would be very impressed with this game if I could get above 10 Estus in New Game Plus. I wonder. I would assume not. Is that a shard you found? It is a shard. Oh. Of course, Trisha has no patience. She has to Shh. get to it. Is that a shard you found? <laughs> She's so see. cute with your kicking feet. So that you might see hope, light. Well, we're never gonna hear it again on Trisha's character because she got to the max just now. It's twelve, according to. Oh, it's twelve. Fatal table. All right, that's cool. I like that. What is the C and Y copy pasta? C and Y. I went to the restroom. My friend. Got my phone and copy pasted the CNY copy pasta, sent it to a bunch of indie VTuber discords, it got me banned from them. What is the CNY copy pasta? Paste it into chat. Unless you're afraid of getting banned from YouTube. I don't know. I don't know what the contents are. Still not enough money, huh? What do you want from me? Um, you could buy, like, the mask or whatever. Yeah. You probably already own one, but... Probably. How many spooky masks uh, do you need? Also, if you climb up the ladder, there should be, like, a 
No, it doesn't matter. But there's like a, it, it, there's there's a, a titanite shard in there or something. Hmm. Chinese New Year 2024 copy pasta. I will in the Gilded server. Excited. Also, this is uh, David Meyer's copy mug. <laughs> That's pretty goofy. The Clorox mug. I see you're a man of memes. That's so cute, the doggo. Sleeping on his. Sleeping on his heartbeat toy. Aha! Butterfly said. Gong Zi Fuck Kai. <laughs> it's the year of the dragon. You know what that means. You keep house sluts. <laughs> it's time to show a gong and my your fattest mandarin oranges and get some thick hong bows. <laughs> Get your love letters ready for some of your bunch of <laughs> fire. I know the symbol is fire from Pokemon, because uh, that's what the, when you use fire breath, it shoots out in the, the shape of the fire symbol. And I don't know the rest of this like uh, moon rune shit. Um, get ready to be fucked doggy style and perform doggy style to send more Hong Bao. Send this to your most superstitious sluts and get a sexy lion dance this chinese new year if you get of these that back, is quite a copy basket. you won't All enjoy right. any of that uh, these. <laughs> okay if you get more than back your flat chinese ass will be screaming what the ah uh tonight it didn't translate the emotes sadly oh okay <laughs> We're missing, we're missing uh, the emotes. Let's see if I can... It just sounds, it doesn't even, it's not even recognizable as a uh, fucking, like, copy pasta. It just sounds like, it sounds like an unhinged say a lot of copy pastas sound unhinged. <laughs> okay, yeah, I can see. No, that makes a lot more sense with the emojis. It's oh like... my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, United Bates of America. America House. Uh, just like a shit, it's just a shit ton of like insane... Yeah, it's just, I mean, it's, yeah. I guess that is, um, that is one way to, uh, get someone banned from a bunch of servers. The emotes completed, yeah. The emotes, I mean, the emotes make it... What it is. As unhinged as, like, with all the random Chinese characters, it's like, very confusing <laughs> but with the um the emojis it's um yeah far more unhinged yes i would say so it looks more oh. authentically like a bot i was telling i was telling trisha about this um one of the one of the rumble streamers that i was watching uh he 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 was like <laughs> He, he was, he was like, uh, he's playing with this girl and then she was like, oh, are you a streamer? Oh, do you have a YouTube? And he's like, oh yeah, but I just like, you know, I just stream whatever new game. It's not even like games I like, you know, whatever. I just like, I was just trying to get views, you know? So it's, it's not even like games I really like play. And she's like, okay. Like she's, she doesn't know what's going on. And I'm like, why is he so awkward about his like YouTube channel? I don't, I don't get it. And then I was, I was like, uh, I was talking to him again and he was like, um, he was like, oh, yeah, I did playthroughs of, like, porn games <laughs> for yeah. YouTube. And it's the weirdest shit, because he, like, he has a face cam on the side. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, what the 
think the game. Fucking weird. And he's like giving this like commentary or whatever. It's so <laughs> weird. He's like, oh, I don't know what I should make my character. Like, and then like he he, he there was he goes to the, like the next after you pick your name and it has like the the fetishes you toggle on and off and he's like, oh god, and he has like most of them censored and I was like, yeah, they're also is... like edited videos <laughs> yeah, of him giant like, with black, black boxes, bars so, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> And it's not, like, edited to be comedic. It's just, like, edited to add the black bars. <laughs> yeah. He's, like, so uncomfortable the whole time. And it's just like, dude, why did you do this? <laughs> like, if you were going to play an actual porn game, you should, like, make it into a funny video, right? Yeah, like, PewDiePie played those, and he made it, like, uh, into... Yeah, like a, yeah. A yeah. But instead, it's just, like, a legit playthrough, but with black bars on it. Yeah. And he's, like, he's, like, skipping everything. Like, he's, like, mashing through, like, all the dialogue and stuff. You're right. Very awkward. Yeah. Yeah, I saw those playthroughs, and I, I looked at Adam, and I was just like, well, like, is he just expecting to be alone for the rest of his life? <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the idea here? He's trying to get a girlfriend? <laughs> Why are you gonna be so mean? <laughs> Maybe she's like, oh my god, that's my favorite game. Yeah, I love porn games. I I'm <laughs> I am actually the girl from my dress up darling, and I love I find porn games so wholesome and deep. Uh, <laughs> uh. Like I said, two kinds of people. I was like, I was talking to someone. Um. And they were like, um, they were talking, uh, they make comics, and I was like, oh, that's interesting, you know, what, we're, um, you know, what do you, you know, whatever, yeah. and they're like, what oh, yeah, I, I make them with screenshots in Second Life, and I was like, oh, okay. Oh, no, not like, one of those, I, I like, hate those. I was like, oh, okay, and they're like, all right, you got me, they're all porn, and I was like, oh. No! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it just got worse and worse. Right. And it was it was a girl I was talking to, so I was like... No. Okay. Mm. Was it actually a girl, or... We yeah, don't know. right, right, okay. We don't know. It could have been fair. a... Could have been a, 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 a girl with a secret hot dog. We don't know. <laughs> secret hot dog? Secret hot dog. You never know. <laughs> what is that? And some streamer oh has God. that as, like, their joke. It's like... <laughs> That's really funny. A pocket hot dog. Girls on the internet. <laughs> Not real. Yeah, right, right. It's like, um, there's that one meme where it's like, girls dating, and they're like, oh my gosh, I, I hope he's hot, I hope he, um, is husband material, and then it's like, boys dating, I hope she shows up, I hope she's not a guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh yeah, that's, that's like, true facts. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway. Although, like, to, to be fair, not that it's like a, you know, not that it's a sign of a particularly, like, healthy society, but I've, I've definitely, like, I definitely had conversations with, um, uh, I definitely had conversations with plenty of girls where, like, they brought up porn that they watch. It's just, like... Typically, yeah, like college or something? Yeah. Yeah. Like Your col college is the type. College or like my one friend's friends, right? And they're like, yeah. I find it incredibly uncomfortable when, uh, when people bring that stuff up around me. Like, legitimately, if they're, like, just... just dropping recommendations? If they're just, like, <laughs> fucking around and we're just all joking about, like, porn or whatever, it's, like, whatever. But if they're actually, like, Do legit you... talking about the type of stuff and fetishes that they enjoy, yeah. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to think about you in a sexual way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not to, interested to in To be you. fair, the funniest, like, insult, um... The, the, the funniest, most cutting insult I've heard uh, from, like, yeah, I think, I, I don't think this was, 
I it's so it's it's so funny that I kind of want to take credit for it, but I don't I don't actually think this was me. I, I I think I heard this somewhere, but I've used it a bunch, which is like the most cutting like grammatical insult is that's some like Pornhub comment section <laughs> comment section shit right there. Like <laughs> <laughs> like if someone's grammar is like really fucked up, it's like. <laughs> Like, it's pretty funny. I remember I was like, I was at like a writing program, like I was away, like staying away at a program, a college program, uh, before I was a pre-college program, and and someone gave me their thing to read before they submitted it, and I was like, this is some Pornhub comment section ass shit, dude. Like, what did you fuck? What happened? I was <laughs> like, what happened here? Like, don't give me this. How much weed did you smoke when you were writing this? Yeah, I was like, I was like, don't give me this. Like, fix it right now. <laughs> and then this this girl starts like laughing. She's like, oh my god, yeah, I know what you mean. Like, and she starts talking to me about like. Porn and I was like, don't. No, 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 like, no. Let's not. Get the, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> I love how she's listening in on the conversation. Well, was... She only hears Pornhub and. Well, it was it was like a group conversation. Yeah, so but like... you know. She like steers it away from like from the, the actual writing, yeah. topic. Yeah, because like, and it's not like I'm I'm like, I, w- I wasn't like you know, I I, I wasn't like um, I guess I was being mean, but like. It's like when you when you hand someone something, you should have already looked at it, right? But if it's like if the first sentence is all fucked up, it's like you didn't even like start rereading it. You just like handed it to me yeah, after first, like without doing any of the work. As much like, of a first draft as you can get. Yeah, and it's like they're not paying. It's not like not, not like they're paying me to be an editor, right? They're just like yeah. they're just like, oh, could you look at this? It's like, fuck me, dude. Like I can't read this shit. <laughs> the first sentence is very ESL. It's like. Oh, yeah. Anyway. I'm tired, so I guess we should wrap it up uh, around this time. Uh, Is talking about uh, porn considered sinning? Do we have to do a a happy story? Well, I just, I thought that anecdote was, like, the the funny story. I just just thought it was really funny, because he has, like, 15,000 views on the videos, despite only having, like, 230-something subscribers. Mm, And so I thought it was really funny that he's like, should I delete them? And it's like, should he? I mean, because all of it, it's like 15, 17, 20, 21, like, it's all, like, super high, like, in the thousands of, like, his views. Are those really people that you, you want? I don't know. He said he made 82 bucks uploading them to, uh, like, some porn site where it's uncensored. He, he made, like, on his playthrough with his face cam in the corner. Like. That's some OnlyFans <laughs> logic. It's like, I like... made 82 bucks! <laughs> and he was like, they don't let you choose your thumbnail. Uh, and he was like, I don't want my face to be in the corner when people are, like, nutting. Like, yeah, I he would was say like, not. He was like, if they're watching a video, he doesn't want his face to be... Like in on their screen, especially because like Pornhub also has like pop ups and stuff <laughs> of like other recommended. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, he should delete uh. them. That's my official take. Um, that's not enough money to keep him up. Eighty-two bucks is not a lot. I yeah, I don't know. I I don't. I don't know or care what this guy should do. It's just really funny. I, I just, it's just so funny that he, there there exists out there like a playthrough of a guy with face cam making commentary as he plays <laughs> through this game. I mean, yeah, what what commentary can you give on a porn game if it's just going to be critical and not funny? That's 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 actually really, that's that's amazing. I actually really like that. The, that that concept of someone who's like, oh my god, like the, oh my god, that's what he should do. I, I feel like I feel like maybe he should delete them, but I think he should redo it. I think he should <laughs> redo it. it. I think he should go back in with a bigger face cam, and he should he should be like, he should have <laughs> get, this really like get dressed yeah. up in a suit like, like the, the guy who exactly, does the, exactly like the, the guy who does the, the fast food movies. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> when you said like, super critical. That's immediately what I thought of. It's like he should he should be dressed like that guy and be like. Like they, they like he they have like the, the the scene or whatever, and then you leave it on something that's like really comically censored, right? And he's like, "I'm Do disappointed, like... and my day is ruined. <laughs> <laughs> my disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined." Those are mournful tits. 
Yeah, I, th- I think he, yeah. We need to hold a funeral service with two caskets for dude, each of her tits. Dude, what if he censors the spots that need to be censored with his face cam? <laughs> so he's just like shaking his head. <laughs> <laughs> that would also be pretty funny, yes. Uh, I don't, yeah, I, d- I don't think he should, I thought, I think he, maybe he should delete those, but he should, he should try it again. He should, he should go, go back and do it with a huge face cam, much bigger, take up most of the screen. And then like read out the dialogue, like uh, all the, cause there's like text that pops up. You're right. Uh. I think you, uh, you came up with a winning idea. It's the only way that you can salvage <sighs> making a playthrough of a porn game. Well, that's the problem. You can get tons of subs showing feet, but do you really want that to be your fan base? That's a that's a good point. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> I don't know. In his case, I mean, there are people that it's like their hobby or whatever, but there's there's just like people who, who like, um, they they just like, they watch porn and then do like other things. Like it's not like they don't they don't pursue like porn as their their hobby or whatever. And there's this channel that talks about like battleships. I think it's battleships, just like warships, like in like the modern age. Sure. And. For their thumbnails, they use like semi pornographic anime girls, and then for the video, that's how you get clicks. Yeah, for the video, they have um, they have like an anime girl that's supposed to be the um, the warship, and they tell the story about the warship. They tell the history about it as though it's an anime girl, and they use the tenses. They like the, that's how they do the tenses, and it's like, and then they'll be like, you know, whatever, like. Kimiko, whatever, goes over here and stuff, right? Um, and <clears throat> he has like a, a not a not a non-existent amount of uh, success. So Didn't John show us an anime that was kind of similar to that. There's like the it, it imagines something as anime girls. I don't think it was. I don't think it was battleships. It, it was the girls and. Panzer. Was it trains? I think it was trains. We didn't we didn't watch it, but he's talking about it. Yes, it we're going to watch it next time. I'm sure. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. I'm sure. Right. Right. Yeah. That's 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 going to be. But great. yeah, it's basically the same concept, but yeah. like as an actual TV show. Yeah, but so the guy has like a not insignificant amount of views. I, I I'll occasionally like see his channel recommended to me. For like current events and stuff, I can't remember what the hell's channel is called. I don't imagine like anime girl warship is going to like come back with any like. Oh, well, I mean, who else is making those videos? Um, but that guy managed to make a fan base. He claims at least to have a fan base of people really pumped about history. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. But uh, I could to to David Meyer's point, it could certainly go wrong. It's certainly not a, uh, a, a like a, a probably, good strategy. You know, strategy. You're relating anime with the, the tisms. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, it's probably like the most autistic audience you could possibly acquire. It's like, <laughs> oh, I got it. Unless other than Bat- trains, I got it. Like battle planes, right? Mm-hmm. But they're all reimagined as Sonic OCs. Battle planes? Yeah. Like, like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah jets, stuff like that. He there did, you go. He did run out of ships to talk about and did move on to planes. Of course he did. Yeah. And he, he did the same thing with the anime girls. And he, that's, he says that was much more successful than the boats. So he doesn't know if he even wants to go back to boats if he finds better boat stories. Don't ask me why I ended up on this, like, two-hour-long interview. I just... I was just there. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. It's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Just, I just ended up on uh, some random That's ass interview. That's certainly about. a weird concept that to, found its niche. To be fair, I, I didn't watch a single one of his videos. So, the, so his, the interview did not make me interested enough to go watch his videos. You don't have enough tisms. 
Yeah. Maybe you talked about like trains or something. What's or I guess it's like yeah, trains, Sonic. Yeah. You gotta go fast. If it was yeah, like now here's here's a crazy alt history. What about train battles? <laughs> okay. Choo choo, right. motherfucker. So like a plane, instead of dropping off like paratroopers, they drop off a train onto the tracks, <laughs> and then it, it goes and they fight the other train. Right. Oh yeah. There have been a couple train battles in history. That's not a that's not a non-existent thing. Mm -hmm. uh, opposing sides in a war did build trains on the same track and had had to fight each other for the track. Mm. This this is a thing that occurred. The Civil War. Uh, no, World War Two, I think. Uh, it happened, there were, okay, so it happened like twice in, in all of human history. I think there were two train, two battles where trains fought each other with like guns and stuff on the top of the trains. Not common. It did occur at least twice that I, I think. Or am I thinking World War One? I? I don't know. Anyway, who cares? Trains fought each other and that's all you need to know. Uh, so yeah, that's your, that's your happy story for tonight. Um... Yeah, there you have it. So, I guess we close it out then. Saying goodnight to everybody. Yeah, goodnight, guys. Yeah, we'll see and, you uh, on the next one. If that stream. guy goes back and watches this VOD, I'm so sorry. I didn't I didn't say your name. And so your your honor is preserved. You're safe for now. Go delete the videos. <laughs> I think you should remake the videos with a giant face and cam. Remake them and actually make them funny? Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're probably the best way to go about them if it's, you're going to do those types of videos. It's unintentionally hilarious, though. How uncomfortable, How uncomfortable he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he clearly doesn't want to be playing the game, but he's like, i got to do this for my channel. And he's like, oh, it's the only way. I'll he's survive. like shifting in his chair. He's, skip, he's like skipping through the dialogue as fast as possible. It's like, yeah. how are people even like going to read that, man? <laughs> yeah, the whole popularity contest thing on social media really uh, eats people away on the inside. It does, though, because, like, there's so many artists who, like, switch to doing uh, pornographic art mm -hmm. because it, it just gets them more success quicker, but then they can't go back to doing the art that they actually like doing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I imagine it's, like, kind of similar with uh, videos on YouTube and stuff. Like, once you get popular for one thing, YouTube forces you to keep doing that thing or you just fail mm -hmm. because that's just how the algorithm works. Unfortunate. But anyways. Yeah, I, I remember that in two particular cases. Mm. People, like, got famous or something. The, so the guy who did the, um, like, the, uh, uh, the Evanescence uh, Goofy cover. It was yes. like, great work. Yeah. Cool. He, um, he went on to do, like, I think, like, politics and, like, anime or, like, kind of, like, weeby mm. shit, right? Yeah. Um, and then... But everybody only knows him for his skits, basically. Mm -hmm. Like, the really short videos. And he, like, has... I, I've seen several, videos, like, you know. posts and stuff where he's, like, angry about it. That they want him to sing as Goofy doing more songs. But, uh... Yeah. Um, also, the Dancing Stormtrooper. His channel, uh, it, like, it blew up. It was mm -hmm. He was on, like, Attack of the Show. And he's like... It's like, I know Corita... When he's like yeah, dancing in like right. the, in Tokyo or whatever as a stormtrooper, um, but then he switched his channel to being like how to make custom like dolls, like custom. That is quite a shift. Like clothes for these like cute anime girl dolls. Oh my! Yeah. Okay. And I like I was like, I, don't know, I was like maybe it's interesting, and I like I, I click on one of the videos, and he's just like. He's like whispering the whole time, and I'm like, oh, oh no, help! <laughs> like, never, never take me back here again, YouTube, please. Yeah, there you go. Him. I'm gonna tag him and send him clips. No one knows who it is. No one, no one knows. His his honor is preserved. However, the videos are pretty funny. So <laughs> funny in the wrong way. Well. Anyway. Anyway, guys, uh, good night. We'll see you next time on the Game Fans 